they say you can have too many cooks in the kitchen. Well, these cooks aren't going to spoil my broth, so let's crank up the gas and get cooking. And now we have another success story from Bateman Culinary School, Jason Tesseri. How nice are to meet you? you. Nice to meet you. What are you doing for me today, Jason? Uh, today we're doing some nice thick grilled pork chops with a maple Ooh. butter glaze. Maple butter, nice. And we're serving them with a pink lady stuffed uh, apple stuffed with sweet potato. Okay. And a pink lady, I was kind of hoping there for a minute. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> we're gonna stuff it, we're gonna grill our sweet potato. Okay. Cut it nice and thin just so it cooks evenly. Would you like these on? Ah, uh, yes, please. Great. Aren't these beautiful? Mmm. That's nice. And you season that with just oil, salt, and pepper, correct? Just oil, salt, and pepper. Great. These, and these? we're doing the exact same thing. Just a little bit all of right. oil, salt, and pepper, and right on the grill they go. All righty. And all you have to do is grill mark them a little bit. I'll mark them and... And then put them on to lower heat. Okay, you got it. And your other items there? Uh, our apples, and then we have some grilled veg. We got some grilled eggplant, or we will be have some grilled eggplant, and some grilled zucchini Ooh. to go on the side. And that Perfect. should be enough for us right there. Perfect. There we go. This grill's looking nice. Great. Now, you said you're going to stuff your apple. Yep. I like this idea. So we're actually going to have to core Cheeks. it out. Okay. Would you show me how you core an apple? See, I've what, never cored an apple. <laughs> when we core this out, you actually want to break the skin around all sides because if you don't, yeah. it'll actually break when you try to ah, scoop it out. Makes and sense. And that is really ugly for your presentation. Ugly. We don't like ugly. No, we like food we to want be pretty. Foo, foo, foo. Good work. Oh, I see what you're doing. Very nice. And right there. Very and nice. then you just want to make sure the seeds are all popped out. Okay, I've got my grill marks coming on this. And you said then you want me to put it on a, up and out of the heat a bit, eh? Yep, just to cook it nice and slow, let the sugars in the okay. sweet potatoes uh, caramelize. You got it. Build that flavor nice and strong. Nice. All right. And you wanted a pan. Yes, we're actually gonna make a maple butter glaze for our pork Ooh, chops. Doesn't that sound nice? Don't touch this pan. It's hot? Very hot. Well, thanks for <laughs> looking out for me. See? Just like the teachers did a Bateman for That's you. That's right. Always got to take care of each other in the kitchen. That's so we're right. just going to add a little bit of maple syrup. Nice. And that is going to thicken and caramelize, and we're going to add some butter to it. Okay. Spoon? Uh, yes, please. Spoonage. Come in. I learned the jargon. Spoonage. Spoonage. <laughs> Spoonage. You just want a nice heaping amount of butter, and you're going to just swirl it over the heat, and All that's right. called Monte au beurre. Is that enough? Uh, that's more than that. Monteo burr. Burr. It means oh, to mount burr, the butter. Butter. Yeah, Monteo burr. Oh, you want these up top. Oh, nice catch, Mark. I'm up top like this. Okay. To fill all four potato uh, apples for the meal, you need about two sweet potatoes uh, that we mash, and then we're gonna add about two tablespoons of pecans, three tablespoons of maple syrup and like a nice heaping tablespoon of butter just to make it a little creamier okay and give it a richer flavor you just want to spoon it right into the uh, hole that you created and just to make it nice you want to round it off and then clean off any excess that's laying on the skin because as you're growing that'll just burn perfect and i'll put that on for you thank you very much great thank you jason how long are these chops going to take do you think well, because we cut them uh, from our own four-bone rack to get them nice and thick, because they don't usually sell them in grocery stores about that thick. No, they they're going to take about 10 minutes. Okay. They're specially cut. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Now, these apples that we uh, have cooked now in the grill as well, on low heat. Yeah. They take about 25 minutes to cook, and you don't start cooking the apple at all until you've stuffed it. And then you put it back on the grill, and it'll take tw about 25 minutes from there. Oh, terrific. You're uh, apprenticing right now, are you not? 
I am. I'm an apprentice at a Black Tree restaurant. In Burlington. In Burlington. Wonderful restaurant. We do uh, contemporary cuisine. Wonderful. Very uh, high class food. You're on. So here we go. So we're just going to put the apple over here. Then you want to go with your veg next. And you always put the protein on last because you want it to be highlighted. You don't want it to be hidden by any of the veg. Very nice. Hang it right up here. And then we'll just pour a nice little bit of the glaze over it. Very hot still, Jason. So we'll be nice and safe and use our cloth. Good work. And look at that. Doesn't that look nice? And we like to garnish, so we'll stick a couple roasted pecans that we saved from when we uh, were making the stuffing just to garnish the top of the potato, uh, the potato and apple. This is fabulous. They sure didn't teach me this in high school. Ah. <laughs> well, this is delicious. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was talking when I should have been eating. <laughs> I don't do that very often. We have a little tradition here, kids. Okay. And I want to thank you folks from Bateman Culinary oh. School, success story, for coming on our Q Scene show. Thank you so much, Murray. And kids, let's eat. Always remember, always remember to eat, drink, and be Murray. Cheers, Cheers kids. Guys. Cheers. Mmm.